What's up everybody, Let's Talk Jets Radio. Happy Valentine's Day, hope you guys are all enjoying your day. Quick video here, uh, news from yesterday, the Jets hired their passing game coordinator, Todd Downing, from the Tennessee Titans. Not a very good year for the Titans or for Downing. Uh, offense did not do very well. He also had a DUI midseason, which led to his firing at the end of the year. Um, this is the second hiring now for the Jets from the Tennessee Titans staff. Uh, they also have Keith Carter, their old line coach and run game coordinator. On top of Nathaniel Hackett, who was one and done as head coach with the Broncos after a miserable year. So you got three prominent guys on your offensive staff. Your passing game coordinator, your run game coordinator with your old line coach, and, and your OC that were all fired last year, that all had disastrous offenses. So I don't know what the plan is here, whether they're you know hoping to resurrect Zach Wilson or the obvious move being going to get a veteran quarterback. There's obvious ties to Derek Carr and Tannehill with these moves. You also have Nathaniel Hackett with his relationship with Aaron Rodgers. For me, like I've been saying, I'm still swinging for the fences. You need a home run. You need that superstar quarterback if you want to compete in the AFC. Aaron Rodgers at least gives you that, I think, for two years. And as long as you can get him, which is the big problem, you know, the timeline, I would still wait, you know, the drop off for me from Derek Carr to, you know, Tannehill or Jimmy G, those next level guys isn't as significant as the drop off from Aaron Rodgers to whoever you get after that. And not to mention, again, you know, I don't feel comfortable giving five years, um, you know, 40 plus million dollars to Derek Carr, who's going to be a free agent once he gets released from the Raiders. I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that. And, you know, some of the other options... You know, I don't feel great about those guys either, even though they might be veterans. So you might actually be looking at potentially taking those picks that you were willing to send the Packers for Aaron Rodgers, or if Lamar Jackson becomes available, which I don't think is going to happen. Um, but you need a prominent quarterback, so you might actually consider taking those picks and moving up in the draft. As crazy as it sounds to say, I think it would be stupid if we just completely dismissed the idea of drafting a quarterback because we haven't done it well in the past. Or because, oh, this is a win-now team, we have to have a veteran quarterback. Well, if that veteran quarterback's not very good or just average and he's not going to get you over the hump, well, then we're going to be in the same boat three, four, five years from now. So, you know, I, I think this year's draft class in terms of quarterbacks is much different from last year, you know, in terms of, you know, Kenny Pickett, Desmond Ritter, Malik Willis, and guys like that who were all mid to late first round picks, early second round picks. Where this year you got three guys that are all you know very prominent top five guys. Will Levis maybe needs a little bit more seasoning and some time to sit. But C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, you know these guys are talented kids. Maybe not ready to play right away. I, personally, whoever the Jets potentially draft, if they draft somebody, you know I'd probably rather that guy sit anyway. Just looking at the past four quarterbacks that we've drafted have all been thrown into the fire and have been bust. But I, I just don't think you can think that way in terms of you know we haven't as a franchise been able to draft or develop a quarterback therefore we must overspend on a quarterback that might not eventually get us over the hump like I said the AFC is loaded right now with top young quarterbacks great head coaches and you got to have at least one of those things that are either great or elite if you want to compete with those teams and so Salah to me he's middle of the pack if he's not going to be that elite coach then you got to get that elite quarterback so hope you guys enjoyed talk to you later